Sorry, Marsha. There we go. Oh man, that got stuck in there good. It's a water beep. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I got you that yeah, time. Man. There's a sniper in the bushes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Dope or Nope Outside Edition. Well, why are we doing it outside, Tanner? Cause it's beautiful, just like you viewers. It's a beautiful day. Got this little table. If you guys recognize this table, it was from a Dope or Nope video. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which one. I don't either, but I'm honestly more shocked that it's making a return. This thing is janky. Super if janky. If it collapses halfway through, uh, just more jokes for you. Whenever it collapses, the video ends. That's what we're gonna <laughs> play today. <laughs> it just shakes it violently. <laughs> Instantly, and that's the upload. <laughs> All right guys, so today's video is we bought 10 dangerous weapons from wish.com. Some are gonna be dangerous. Some of them, as you know from Wish, are probably gonna be hot garbage. Neither Matt nor myself has seen any of these products yet. The team has purchased them and they have gotten wow. them ready to go and we're gonna react and decide if they are dope as in if they work or if they're nope as in if, if they're just a normal wish product i'm super worried i am honestly as well because my kid could just come running through that corner over there so don't aim this way <laughs> <laughs> first one is a usa seller fast shipping eight inch tactical hand pistol eight inch tactical Folding spring assisted. Spocket. Spocket <laughs> knife. Pocket knife with holster. Why are they all caps holster? Um, like that's so a big does it, feature. Does it, shoot, does it shoot the knife or it's just an oddly shaped knife handle? I think it's an oddly shaped knife handle, but I think it also is like, what are those things called? Bayonets? Oh, if you look at the other pictures here, look, it's folded up here. Wait, so is it a is it a blaster or is it a knife? It's a knife. It's just a knife. It's just a knife with a really dumb handle. So when you open it, it's just way too hard to use. <laughs> but it's also like, like you pull this out as like a thread and you're like, bam, and, like, <gasps> and you go, and you're like, uh. <laughs> just bam, just like, Bing. <laughs> Let's just b -b -b buy it. So we got two of these things because Michael and Chanel were insistent that we would love these. Yes, of course. Us Americans. Let's have a duel. Like an actual one. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's yours. This is what it comes with. This one's black. Elite Edge. And here we go. We don't have a top-down camera, so suck it, complainers. Yeah, complainers. Here we go. Stuck it. Tiny. Very tiny. No one would, would think this pea shooter is an actual gun. Only people that have never seen an actual gun. Which is actually probably a lot of people. True. I've seen guns. I watch Counter-Strike. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually the size Wait of some second. guns, though. You know that, right? Like, there are guns this tiny. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wait, what? You see that? Watch. <laughs> I have been shocked. Priming the gun actually. <gasps> okay, that's kind of cool. How do I stop it? How do I stop it? So it's just like, this town ain't big enough for both of us. I see your hands in the way though. How are you supposed to do that? That's not working. ka -chow. Ew. That's what you did. <laughs> Looks like you just got a manicure done, but you're trying to do business. That's for taking my husband, Stacy. If you put it too far deep. It doesn't do it. That's really... Honestly, I might just let it out. That's what she said. <laughs> That's not the most American thing you've ever seen in your life. All right, you're right. Do you want silver? Oh, you obviously want black. Yeah. All right, we'll let those hang out there for the rest of the episode. What do you think of this, dope or nope? I think it's a nope. Am I really supposed to use the knife like this? <laughs> like, just like opening boxes, like, can you imagine? No, just imagine you putting on butter, you're just like. Where, where's the, where's the use case for this? Where can I use this? I can't take this to work. No, you're on lockdown. You run out of uh, shavers. So what are you doing? <laughs> you just look down and it's just totally just right. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a nope. Next product. Oh, what? Why would they pick this out? Out. We're getting our nose One pierced. One piece piercer, earring, alcohol pad set. Could you imagine doing this? Is this the thing that they, hey, you got your ears pierced. Yeah. You're kind of a fancy boy. Is this what they use? No, they use like a, uh, a bit more of like a mechanized version of this. Like, so like metal? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is more like, ugh. I could see kids using this though. There's, it's really, really common right now for kids to pierce themselves. That sounds so strange that I know that fact, but it's mainly because my girlfriend has like, uh, has siblings in high school. They're like, it's like the craze. All these kids are doing it. I'm like, you guys are, you guys are crazy. If you can handle that pain that you're giving yourself. Have you heard of tetanus? Tetanitis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I could never do that to myself. Silver, pink, light blue. AB color. How about AB test? Wow. Your new nose rings. No thanks. They got some really nice noses in this though. Look at that. These are some, wait, what is that? That's just a girl's selfie. <laughs> She's like, uh, <laughs> ouch. I wouldn't do this if I were you, but Tanner's gonna try it. 
<laughs> no, I think we have a dummy, like a dummy face. Oh. And I'm not talking about Matthias, am I right, viewers? Let's do pink. Bye! Don't let the flower box take advantage of your thoughts. <laughs> what does that even mean? How could something take advantage of my thoughts? You ever been on the internet? Oh! Oh, it's because it's got a wig. Okay, I was like, where's the hair coming from? Is this a head in a bag? No, that's a head where you just do the hair. Oh no, I think there's a face on it. This is so unsettling. Hey, everybody. Oh, there's a face this in This is like the grudges face. Sorry. <laughs> this feels concerning. <laughs> this is from now. Wow, her hair looks really real. That's freaking me out. Marsha. Okay, Marsha, like from the Brady Munch. Yep, this is a tiny boy. This is the packaging that comes in. If this is really good, do you let me do this to you? But like on your- I on have your... no desire for piercing. Yet, until you watch me do it to Marsha. I don't know. I, it just seems like something else to take care of. I'm gonna show the viewers at a more up close angle. Do it, I dare you. Marsha wants a new ear pierce. You have so much hair, Marsha. <laughs> I feel weird holding it. It just broke. No. It just broke. Needle! Where did my needle go? Did it go in here? That's what you don't want to hear from a doctor. Where did my needle go? Where did my needle go? <laughs> well, that's where the needle was. What? Wait, we have to find that. My kid plays in this. Yeah, I know. Gonna, you're gonna pierce the bottom of her foot. My kid, Tanner! You decided to do it outside! I think it's gone. <laughs> I think it's gone. I think this metal disintegrated. <laughs> okay, well, looks like there's no piercing today because there only came with one singular needle. And before Tanner was even able to try it, the needle fell out. Just fell out and then it actually had two of the plastic pieces. Just broke off. Broke, just naturally. <laughs> so I think that warrants a note and a cause for concern and a warning of caution for all of those who want to pierce their body in unethical ways. Yeah, but we're keeping Marsha here. What's an ethical way to pierce your body? I don't know, actually, I don't think there is, right? I don't know. Tats, neck tats. Well, I guess it's pierced. Neck tat, back tats. <laughs> <laughs> next product. Yo guys, before we get on the next product, we have something super sick and Bit that's- fun! We have a golden weapon of love. Look at that thing. And it actually fires off. So we've used one of these similarly in the past, um, which you guys can see in the card right above if you want to see us use it there. But Matt and I want to have a shoot off and we want to do it with gold ones. Two millimeter round? This is a legit gun. Is it not? No, I think it's... Uh, still classified as a toy? Yeah, still a toy. We're going to have target practice and we're going to buy two of these and see who's the best between just me and Matt. So if you guys want to see us have that little battle, that little boy battle, Ooh. that boy battle without the little, take that out. Then <laughs> go ahead and like this video 150,000 times because it's $150 and we're buying too, so that'd be three hundred dollars. I just did the math. All right, so we're gonna not add it to basket. That's your job. That's comment your down job. below. You add it to basket, baby. Yeah. Comment down below. Add it to basket. So this is a seven dollar pistol. We originally bought it for three dollars. Um, I found this pistol originally. $3. Oh, you found it. I thought you said in the beginning of the video. I never seen I found this a long, long time ago. <laughs> so and right. then I showed Michael. I was like, Michael, look how cool this is. And he was like, Dude, that's sick. So it's a three dollar pistol. Good fun with handy torch. All my mates fell for it. Like fell in love with it? No, fell for it. Like, this I'm is a neat for you. little toy. LMA. I just leave it laying around the house for my friends to be curious enough to check it out. OMG, I love it and it arrived on time. Good deal. Why does that sound fake? Here's what I loved about every part of the product features. Plus it arrived on time. Plus the seller, he was sick. He's a legend. He gives complimentary spankings. Whoa. Got three people already works great. Just wish it was a little stronger. <laughs> That's such a Jeremy thing to say. I've never met one Jeremy who wasn't a little crazy. Got three people already. Wish it would give him a heart attack, but yeah. just didn't work like the fork in the socket trick we used to do. <laughs> okay, Jeremy. Uh, cool. Uh, bye. 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 Bye now. Bye. Wow, thanks Chanel. Guys, this is what it looks like. Wow, delicious. Delish. It's a shock pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to rhyme. When it goes southern, south, southern. <laughs> when it goes <laughs> When it goes, it goes south. southern. When it goes southern. I meant south. So it's a pistol that I'm guessing whenever you press this. No, it says sideways trigger. What's a sideways trigger? It's not the real trigger, because it wouldn't be sideways. Well, just look at this. This gives it away. What? Why does it give it away? There's an electricity sign on the side of it, if you guys can see it. Oh. On both sides. Oh yeah, there is. And it's made in China. All they do is shock you over there in China. They're just like, ah! <laughs> I get scared. <laughs> you looked at me with utter disappointment. You just went, <laughs> man, what you doing? I was just like, why'd you scare me? It was so strange because I pressed it <laughs> once. <laughs> I literally pressed this trigger thing and it didn't work at first. It was like so faint. I was like, does this not work? Press it harder. And the last thing you want to be throwing around is a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> just chucks it Someone just sees it flying. Here, give it a try. No thanks. It's not that bad. I don't like Le Shockey. Le Shockey? It's a light. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Stop it! This sucks. This sucks. Um, not huge fan. You know what I mean? No, I know what you mean. I don't like sh things that shock. Um, call me whatever you want. Uh, doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay, ding butt. You can't. 
Got him. That one came out of left field. Wait, it just went down in price 50 cents. Did it really? Yeah, look now. I see. I didn't see it. It was before. $7 before. Oh. Now it's six sixty five. That shows you how fast the price That's is fluctuating. 35 cents. Uh, water paintball gun. Safety water gun bullet toy. <laughs> safety water. Safety gun. Pretty oh my smart. gosh. What is this product? Look at that. That It's a mega. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's Photoshop. You think so? It has to be. No way. Because she looks like she's, oh, there's no shadow on. It's 100% Photoshop. It has to be because that gun is enormous. Either that gun is enormous or she's literally two feet tall. That's something I think I've noticed when looking through Wish is they make all of the, the weapon stuff look super real, like hyper real. Yeah. Like, look at this, dude. This doesn't look half bad. Product parameters, infrared switch. I doubt it's going to have any of these things. It's going to be jump, man. Buttstock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a buttstock is. My kind of stock, I'll tell you what. Trigger, bolt, tripod, bar. Ah, look at the bar. Oh, hot bar. Bar, bar, bars. Uh, magazine is evidently in the scope. Is it real? Oh, it's because it's that's where you put the bullets. Yeah, yeah. What if it shot out of the scope? <laughs> Someone's looking at the bar and they see this guy. <laughs> Bye. Did you just break it? No. Just literally picking it up? So, yeah, let me put that where's back. The, where's the bar? No. Where's the buttstock? No, the bullets! Okay, so, <laughs> this thing is tiny. Okay, that woman must seriously be two feet tall. Unless they did Photoshop it, which is possible. Okay, put it on for me, dog. <laughs> Here's the infrared. It's literally just a f What? Told you infrared aiming, dude. I it's knew. a laser? Yeah, it goes over to here. I got the bar coming your way, one second. I also have this bag of water ammo. <gasps> Just destroyed on your keyboard. This guy's a G. Sorry, Siri, not you. Uh, did I say it out loud? I don't think I said it out loud, but I was thinking it. This is just gonna destroy the beads. Probably will. Let's try with these ones. Here we go. Fill her up. It's just destroying them. These are biodegradable, so I don't feel bad if I lose these in your yard. You're not, you haven't even got any in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sound the perfect man, all right? Not bad. It actually didn't destroy it. Didn't really sting at all either. No, it's not gonna sting. It's a water bead. <gasps> It flung out of the barrel. This 360 oh, no Oh! <laughs> I got you that yeah, time. back of the head. Guys, these are just water beads. Oh, look at this. Chris Kyle. There's a sniper in the bushes! Ah! <laughs> just, it's just getting broken beads all over the <laughs> That was the hand. <laughs> Same spot. <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Ah, top of the head. Camera. <gasps> this is accurate. Hold up. Oh, I got it. Dude, this is accurate, bro. Yeah, hold on. Ow, the hand. Ah! See, not bad. How high does it go? You can't see that, it's blue. Oh, I saw it. It goes like 35 feet in here. I read this one out. Uh, How much was this, 16 bucks? 16, is that it? Yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, you got enough range to just kind of chill out in the bushes while your mom walks by. Yeah, pelter with a couple of these water beads. Hey, they're biodegradable. Robo time, 172 PCS. Wait, what does robo time mean? Robo time. It's robo time. <laughs> just the Terminator walking out with like a wooden rubber band <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> That's me from the past and the future. Don't get me near water, I bloat. <laughs> 172 pieces DIY 3D shoddy body with rubber band bullet wooden gun toy. So we've used uh, something similar to this in the past. Capacity, barrel, trigger, grip. Get a grip. This is like a sawed off shotgun. Kind of cool. Um, Chanel put this together, so thank you, Chanel. I shouldn't say it until after we buy the product. Bye! Wow, thanks, Chanel. Guys, this is it. Oh, that's kind of cool. The RoboTime Rocker is what it's called. What just fell off? Of One it? piece <laughs> fell off. <laughs> okay, so I think all you're supposed to do. Oh, you actually prime it like a. No, that's just for looks. Yeah, one more time. Oh. Oh, it has a little gear mechanism here. That's kind of cool. That every so, time you press the trigger, it throws it forward. It's kind of like the chain gun thing we had. Yeah. Remember that? Chain gun thing. Ow. Does that hurt? No, it's just very sudden. Ow. <laughs> okay, I'm done. This guy doesn't remember anything. Here you go. <laughs> Never seen anything shoot so gently <laughs> in my whole life. <laughs> I was expecting the exact opposite of that. I don't know why these look so taut, but they're just like. <laughs> Here we go. I'll shoot it straight in the air, and you guys will see how how fast it comes down. <laughs> you can literally <laughs> fling it higher yeah, with your fingers. I, I legit can. <laughs> just throw it all higher. Wait, let me see this. Okay, so how this works? You can see right here. If I prime this like this, let's see how far it goes. Measure measure it with your feet. Never mind. You don't have to measure that. That's exactly eight feet. Yeah, that's about eight feet. <laughs> oh, wow. How would you get that? You just have to get more taut rubber bands. I do have more taut rubber bands in here. Rubber bandy boys. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let me see. Okay. This will work better. A little nice. better. Yeah. Let's, let's even try a more, a more. I caught that. Can you even believe I just caught that? Cut it together like I did. That'd be so sick. Oh, that one's good. That one about 15 feet in the air. Ooh, this one's going to be really good. 
Ooh, okay. That so one it was doubled, just, tripled the distance. Though. It was the bands that came with it. Those were uh, Le Poo Poo. Oh, that's vicious. This yeah. could be cool if you got like some really thick rubber bands. I just worry about playing with these things because you get like splinters. I think this is more about just kind of like having something that you built. Also technically useful. Yeah, just yeah. kind of cool, just kind of neat. Just kind of like whatever. Was it a dope or no? I'll say dope, I'll say dope too. Next product. Cat gun opener, catapult pistol, bottle opener, new bottle opener, new gun shape projectile opener. So now bust a cap and you, you know, literally. I, I feel like places like Amazon and Wish and sites like that, maybe Etsy, if they just put space for the, the shop owners to put tags somewhere else, they wouldn't tag spam the title. Yeah. Or they do that and just the shop owners are pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know what would be a really cool idea, I think, for a website? Make it um, where the title isn't there at all. What if it was just who can really make the best thumbnail? Who can like show their item the most clearly? Those bugs are mating in front of me. Also, YouTube, when is YouTube gonna do GIF thumbnails? They already have GIF thumbnails, what are you talking about? No, they have like, you can show like a preview of the video. Oh, I think it's better to do what they're doing though. A thumbnails? What if you could show a really good GIF? Yeah, but then, it, then it's like clickbait. I like the fact that they just show what's inside the video. I'm saying more so for videos that need a better representation than just a picture. You know, like what if you could throw like a quick GIF together, like a quick three second GIF that would loop. Should we be talking Talking about this? I don't know. What do you guys think? We're here to be personable. <laughs> but in the meantime, we got a cap gun. <laughs> so this this takes off the bottle cap and then it shoots it. Mm -hmm. Add the slart. Here you got one for you. <laughs> one more for you. We're gonna, what if that broke in our hands? That'd kill me. That was the worst what if ever. And I wouldn't <laughs> kill shit. you. No, yeah, cut here. Mm, Dunzo. Spurt in your face. Yeah, and you'd there's be no infected with my disease. No healthcare professionals to help you anymore either. You're a goner. All right, so we got a lot of bottles to okay, practice. So on. we have to open this. To not be wasteful, we gotta do it first try. Oh, there's already used ones too, in case we don't wanna crack them, but we gotta test it, I guess. Here it is, guys. It's about as silly looking as you are. Comes with a little trigger. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty satisfying though. <laughs> I hate that it's plastic. Should I have done that beforehand? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, it works. It worked, but I mean, for what reason? Guys, wanna see my bottle cap open a shooter? Hey, to be fair, it is kind of a fun game to like every bottle cap you have, you just throw it into like a spittoon. Like I think spittoon? it's kind of fun. What's a spittoon? You know, the, you know the things that you spit into in the old days? If you get it like one of those and you throw bottle caps, that's really, really fun. So maybe you keep this on your side at all times and you open a bottle. How many can you drink? In my life? <laughs> <laughs> that's the most emasculating thing that's ever happened to me. It's just the getting hit with a bottle cap in the top of the head. All right, guys, that was a nope, in my opinion. Next yeah, product. I'll say nope. Nope. You know what? <laughs> Before we get into the next product, this is a membership shout out from a group of friends to a family. And that's to Ashley Nicole. Ashley Nicole. It's her and her son in the profile picture. We love that families like watching Dope or Nope. If you're a family, comment down below the name of your family. <laughs> if you're a family. I'm a family. <laughs> if you watch us with your family. <laughs> comment everyone down below. We'll say like hello to some of them in Everyone the types a different letter together. <laughs> <laughs> dad, come type the letter D for dad. <laughs> uh, but huge shout out. If you guys want to shout out just like them, go ahead and hit the join button down below. Check out the multiple tiers. Joy. Button. There's BTS videos. Right now we're trying to, to coordinate some stuff from like everybody vlogging from their own positions of what they're doing and like bring it together so you guys can see what we're doing um, for Dope or Nope. Uh, there's also live streams yeah. that are gonna be exclusive. Gonna be a bit more difficult in this time, but we'll probably do some before shoots. There's a lot of things we're gonna be doing. Emoji, stuff like that. So if you want that exclusive content, hop on in there. We've also added deleted scenes as of late. So if you want some oh. cool bloopers, they're there. Until then, next product. Thank you, Ashley and Nicole. Have a no, good one. No, Ashley, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole and Ashley. No, just one person. Next product. Ooh. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, that, those are legit cool looking fidget spinners. And I gotta be honest with you, I still like fidget, fidget spinners. Come on, man. Man. I do too, they're still but satisfying. Not, yeah, so they're so satisfying to look at. Like the more intricate ones, the more well-crafted ones, not just the plastic ones, those are annoying to me. But like these, like looking at these are just, they're so interesting and intricate. I like little objects, you know, that don't really serve tons of purposes. They're, they're more just like tokens. Mm. There's something about that that I think I like. in every sense of it, Pat and I discovered even with food, smaller is always better than the bigger version. Mini corn dogs are better than regular sized corn dogs. Unless you're hungry. No, because then even the bite-sized stuff is always better. I well, don't what know. what if you don't have enough? 
I mean, what would you rather have, a regular corn dog or a one mini corn dog? I'd rather have a lot of mini corn dogs rather than one mini. No, corn no, one. one. You can't go one to one because <laughs> that defeats the purpose of the mini. <laughs> Some of these, these are pretty cool looking things though. Uh, they're metal darts, so you're supposed to be able to spin them and then swing them. See, the issue with having blades on your fidget spinner is that you hold a fidget spinner like this, and it'll just cut the webbing on your hand. Yeah, and then you're no longer the the, the weenus, so it were. But Add the cart. Is that the only one we have, or do we get multiple? Because this one's kind of lame. That's the only one we have. That's sad. All right, so this is the one we have, guys. For some reason, it's blue. Uh, not not a huge fan. Gonna gonna be gonna be honest with you. That's kind of satisfying, but honestly, is it metal? Catch your finger in there. Yeah, it's metal. Ooh. It's pretty satisfying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not bad. Definitely not the dart version. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't feel Are like... Are supposed to get the dart version? I think. I don't know. But aren't all fidget spinners darts? Spinners? What? I don't know if these are meant to be thrown. Let me try. Oh, well, did damage. <laughs> Sorry, Marsha. Dude, that just bounced off, bro. Yeah, that's actually dangerous. You have to throw it harder. There we go. We did it. Oh man, that got stuck in there good. Talk about danger. Fidget spinner and it still spins. So I guess it's a dope. I give it a dope. I wish it was one of the black or the gold ones because all they sell is black or gold and yet here is blue. A blue. <laughs> uh, USA Stellar fast shipping 150 pound archery hunting 210 feet per second bow. It weighs 150 pounds? What? Sure. That's exactly what Michael and Chanel said about the- No, 150 pounds of, of torque or 150 pounds of like- That's what I was saying. I was on <laughs> Set with Michael and Chanel and we did the like to buy for the, the dart video we were gonna do and so they got a crossbow for the like to buy and they're like 150 pounds I was like are you guys kidding me right <laughs> but it is pretty thick it's got arrow bolts laser look at that man it's got a little bit of wood in it you shoot at targets this is gonna be one of the first actually dangerous ones we got and there's a little scope along with it say nope to the scope perfect for me not too small not too big it has lots of power made well should bold up through what I dish out should bold up through what I dish out I, hold up should hold up okay so this person literally Literally said it's perfect. It's perfect, and then gave it four stars. Come on, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Touche. I didn't look there. It's perfect. Four out of five. <laughs> Bye. This is it. Actually dumb okay. thick. Don't shoot me in the face. So the only thing that isn't true with what came from the oh listing my. is it didn't come with the scope. Am I supposed to pull this all the way back? Yes. So I talked to Chanel. She couldn't do it, but her dad could. I don't, I just so we don't have a want to do it. So this is why it's a Wish product. Oh gosh. So you're supposed to pull it all the way back, but <laughs> this metal piece right here is supposed to bend backward, right? So Chanel said that she had to set it to fire and then she had to pull it and it would fall back so that you can pull the drawback string into it. That doesn't work at all anymore. Um, and it also didn't come with a scope, which is supposed to go on top. So they lied about that. Imagine if this accidentally goes off, like the other thing we got from Wish. Was that from Wish 2? The little like dart shooter? Yeah, it was. That just randomly shot off? I think that was Wish or Amazon or both. How do you get that down? That's what irritates me. <sighs> I just can't get it all the way in. You have life insurance? No. We'll put my name in it. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel said that it was when she pressed the trigger yesterday it worked, but it only did it once. Oh my gosh, am I a wimp? Dude, don't answer that. Is 150 pounds of tension a lot or is that not a lot? 150, this is way more than 150 pounds. I can lift 150 pounds. Can you push 150 pounds? Maybe I can. 150 pounds is 245s on bench plus 10. <laughs> Oh my gosh, forget this. Yeah. <laughs> Everything we don't like, we just throw into your bushes. I don't want that. That's, that's a piece of junk, dude. There's gotta be some sort of mechanism that helps you prime that. You're not supposed to be able to do that. If it's 150 pounds, how many people? I guess the people that should be shooting crossbows should be at least able to push 150 pounds down. But us fancy boys, we're not about that life. No. Well guys, that was your 10th weapon. We have a couple others, but honestly, they all were super underwhelming. It was like a weird broken lighter, a laser that didn't really work at all. So it wasn't really worth showing and we can't really show the, the lens. Wait, let me show, I, we'll just show them the lighter. We we'll don't have lighter this. fluid, but like, here's like this tiny little grenade here. Not much of a weapon. Yeah, you. there's supposed to be lighter fluid inside it. And then what you do is you take it out, you rub this like little tip along this and it lights this rod and then you light things with it. But it's like, seems like a ton of extra work for no reason. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And this is a laser that's supposed to be military grade, but it really just shoots blue. It's also oddly bent. <laughs> Oh, oh just a battery. <laughs> <laughs> These products suck, dude. Don't buy things off Wish. Wish is just not hot stuff. So technically, yeah, we bought a lot more, but they just weren't worth really showing you guys everything in depth. Guys, go ahead and check out that video over there. That is the last dangerous weapons video we've done. Also, check out this video over here. That's a video you need to recommend specifically for you. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are new here and if you guys want to see more. But also, tell us what you guys think of this format and if and you guys are enjoying it. And if you guys are nude here, put on some pants. We'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of the people enjoyed it too.